everybody, welcome back to another Sunday morning episode of Junk Journal with me. In today's episode, I am working in my new junk journal and I am going to be working on a two page spread featuring a cherry pie that I baked for my husband's birthday. So I know that I want to use these two pictures and I know this is the page that I want to use, this music note and this coffee dyed. I'm just going through some ephemera to try and pick out what I want to use alongside uh, of the page. And so I picked that sentiment because it, it talks about wishing somebody happiness and I thought the colors went nice with the music notes. I'm also going through, I have some vintage um, fruit, fussy cut pieces of fruit that I'm just pulling out some cherries. These are actually in my Etsy store too, if you're interested, I'll put that link down below. So I know I wanna use these two cherries because it is a cherry pie, and I also have a piece of this red scrapbook paper. It's from a six by six pad. It's an old Simple Stories, um, design and I had coffee dyed it. I threw it in coffee a while ago and I am going to use it uh, underneath the picture as a frame. So I have a new bottle of glue so unlike my old problem now it's flowing like way too much so I have to get a paintbrush to kind of spread it out. So I'm just going to trim up the sides here and just leave a little overhang on the all four sides, the bottom, the top, and then the left and right side. Uh, this layout is interesting because I have a little bit of indecision and so there are some things that I need to cover up because I end up not liking them. So right now I have the cherries on the left hand side of the page with this picture, but I decide to move it to the right hand page. So I'm just using my corner rounder to round the corners of this image because I just thought it would look a little bit nicer, a little bit more finished if I did that. And I'm folding it in half so I can use it for journaling. Now I, I end up covering the journaling up because it was becoming too much of a focal point on the page and it's not exactly, I did not want my journaling to be the focal page. I kind of wanted the image since it's such a pretty image with such a pretty um, message. I wanted the image to be the focal point. You can see I'm trying to see if the picture will fit but there's just too much overhang so I don't like the way that works but we'll get we'll get to the cover up part in a moment. So I have this piece of doily just sitting on the side and so this seems to be my go-to um, doily these days because the design is just so intricate and there's just so many different ways to use it. So I'm thinking of using it underneath this picture but I do glue it down. I end up later on in the video pulling it off to create more of a pocket so I could slide that picture um, inside of it uh, because that's just kind of how I want to display it. So you can see now I moved the cherry pie over to the right hand side and I'm trying to figure out how to display this little note card. So I know for a fact that I'm going to cover the back with some uh, coffee dyed paper because it's going to be exposed and then at the same time I also cover the back of the picture with some coffee dyed paper. I don't actually end up using it, end up covering up the part that I put the paper on, but that's no problem. It's not a big deal because this is all about trial and error. And so if you sat down when you were working on a journaling page and you knew exactly what you wanted to do and it worked out, well, that's great. That's a, that's a reason to celebrate, but it doesn't happen like that all of the time. I had an idea as to what I wanted to do. I had a general idea. Now some people they use sketches, they sketch out their ideas. I don't do that. I just kind of pull out some things that I think I might want to use, put it on the table, kind of see how it looks and then I just walk away or I'll just start to work on it. This time I did walk away from it and when I sat down you can see that what I had in mind did not end up being at all what it was that actually happened and I think through that process it was an evolution of ideas and uh, a better page more to my liking was a result of that. So I just copied the back of this picture and I don't like the way that's hanging out of the side. There's, it's just hanging out way too much for me. So I go through this process of trying to pull up the glue to get that paper stuck in there and I end up pulling the whole thing off and just adding a little bit of glue to the top and the bottom so I can slide it 
it in a little bit more. This piece of doily was really junked up. You could see there's some stuff on it because I had it on uh, one of my file folder. Uh, I used it and then I pulled it off because I didn't like it, but I like the green that it left on there. Now, of course, it's going to be covered up um, by this uh, card here but that's okay because you could still see some of the the distressing and the top and the bottom so this is the part where I'm going to do some journaling here and I'm going to skip over it because I don't end up using it. I spend the next few minutes battling with this card and this picture and the journaling because I just can't find a happy balance and as I mentioned before my journaling was becoming the focus of it because it was flipped over this way and I didn't want my journaling to be the focus and I didn't want to tuck this little card inside of the pocket because I loved it I love the design I love the colors I love the message I loved everything about it but I also didn't want to um, put both of them side by side. It was just too much of a battle. So I end up just gluing it down here and then I move on to the right hand page and I come back to this and I actually end up covering it up. And I'm much happier with the outcome that came from all of this rearranging. <laughs> so you can see, you know, sometimes you spend a lot of time working on something, you walk away from it, I moved away from it, I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore, let me go to this page, and then I came back and I had the perfect solution for it. So underneath this picture of the cherry pie cooling on the, the cooling rack, I just put a piece of muslin that I had tea dyed underneath. I just kind of ripped it up and put it, I thought it was a nice texture to put. And then I just glue my little cherries, my little fussy cut cherries off to the left hand side. So this is when I see, I spy that red piece of paper to the right hand side of the journal and I decide to see if this will cover up the journaling and I have a hole there but it's fine because I have another idea I have the perfect piece of crocheted lace that I end up using to cover up the over the red piece of paper so I'm layering all these textures and I'm creating lots of interest and lots of depth as the focal point instead of just my pencil on some coffee dyed paper So this little piece of paper here that I keep fooling around with, it came from a Your Creative Studio kit and it's a whole pad and it says the same thing and it's really hard to read but I believe it says best taste period and then it has like these words and I can't really make out what they say. So there's not like a clear indication as to what to write but I wanted to use it on here because it said best it was pretty and it said best taste period but I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to use it to cover up this red this hole in the red paper but I end up not doing it and I found this piece of it's like the perfect size it's just crocheted lace and so I end up just going ahead and gluing it down and redoing my journaling on the back of the picture, which ends up being much more meaningful and much more interesting and exactly how I envisioned when I started. So I slide my picture into that little section there and I'm still unhappy with the way that the picture is hanging out. I really want the picture to go in a little bit more. So I pull off all of the lace and then I re-glue just the top and the bottom because the I just kept struggling with it and it wasn't right. <laughs> so I just decided to pull the whole thing off and re-glue it. Much better. I'm much happier with the way that picture fits inside that little pocket now. So I found this little um, a piece of ephemera that I coffee dyed that says all of me loves all of you and I thought it matched. It went very well. It's a little hoop like a little embroidery 
um, piece of ephemera and it came with that simple stories pack that I got a long time ago that I had coffee dyed um, because it was sort of vintagey looking and with the coffee it looked even more so. So now I'm back with this best taste period dilemma. <laughs> I don't, I still don't know what to do with it. And I always feel like this coffee dyed paper uh, to the left is a little plain. And so I decide to put some staples in it and do a little bit of journaling on it and add it to the lower left hand side of that page underneath the picture. To finish up, I just add two stickers to the pictures and that wraps up this junk journal with me. Thank you so much for watching my channel, for supporting me and for commenting and subscribing and liking and all of the things that you do on YouTube. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you next Sunday for junk journal with me and I probably will have another video on Wednesday, another tutorial. Have a great week.